Now this may seem a little bit weird, but we should go through how to select objects and how to delete them. So if I want to select an object in Layout Editor, I mouse over to it, and then I left click it. But then, here as I clicked it, you can see that nothing really seemed to change about what it looks like. If you mouse away from the object, like if you mouse up here, you can see this little white border around the object that I've selected. If I want to deselect the object, I'll hit escape twice. Escape, escape, and now it's deselected. If I want to select multiple objects, there's a couple of ways that I can do that. The first, it's actually a little bit non-intuitive because it's different from Windows and, and Mac. If you want to select multiple objects, you can left click on one object and then instead of control click, control click actually doesn't work, you hold shift. I hold shift and then click, that will select multiple objects. If I try a single click and then I hold control or command and click the next object, it doesn't work, which is what usually which is what you usually do, at least in Windows. What it's a little hard for me to remember that, so whenever I use layout editor. I usually prefer to just draw a box like that. I just click and drag to select multiple objects. Okay, so with that in mind, I'd like you to go ahead and delete several of these boxes that you've drawn. And if you've tried to delete these boxes, you may have run into some trouble. So, I want to try to delete this box here. I'm going to select it. I can, if I mouse away, I can see that it's selected. But if I hit the delete key, nothing seems to happen. And that's actually on purpose. Layout Editor is a little bit funny in this regard. It's The delete key was actually mapped to this other function called point deselect which is a little bit of an unfortunate design decision in my opinion, but I guess I understand. Uh, if you want to delete things, make sure you hit escape. Instead of using the delete key, Layout Editor is built for you to use the hotkey D. So you'll press D on your keyboard, D is in delete, to delete objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna select my object and I'm gonna hit D. I'm gonna try doing this with a few also do this. You can do it this way. So I want you to go ahead and delete all those objects there.